So this uh, is boring. You remember, speaking of uh, speaking of wow, do you remember that um, you remember that glitch that happened where those guys did that um boss thingy where they glitched the boss out of the map and they had to fucking patch it? Oh yeah, that shit. Um... Yeah, you know what's funny is I actually know the guy that did that, Nylet Chris. That oh, was really? his. That was his fucking guild that did that shit. They're the reason why that patch had to be put in. <laughs> because their main guy, like the head of their guild, managed to glitch the boss out of where it's supposed to come out of, or where it's not supposed to come out of. Like, it wasn't supposed to move. They glitched it to where they got it to move, and that's when they attacked him and got rid of it. <laughs> that's when they attacked the boss, killed the boss, and that's why that freaking patch had to be put in. That's why... You're not able to do that anymore. It's because of his freaking clan. Wow. I'm like, dude, that's actually smart. Not gonna lie, that's actually a that's actually a smart glitch. <laughs>
Hell, even the guys over on J Dynasty when I played J Dynasty, even my fucking clan that was like one of the top clans on J Dynasty, we were sitting there hanging out and shit, and one of our guys came back because there we weren't we weren't like very big, but we did enough to where people like they knew who we were. Like we weren't very big. We were, we had like maybe ten people in our clan, so like we weren't very big at all. But like. When we did shit, we got shit done. <laughs> like, we were one of the ones, like, we were one of the clans on J Dynasty where it was like, yeah, we may not have been very big, but when we got shit done, we got it done. <laughs> like, we made sure to get that shit done. Mm hmm. Getting things handled. Exactly. And, like, we were sitting there and talking. We, we had actually just got done doing a quest and whatnot. We were just hanging out. We had just gotten. We had just got done doing a boss fight and whatnot, and we were just like, yo, like, let's head over, let's head back to, you know, uh, I forget what, what city it was, I think we were in, like, Sky Song or some shit like that, I forget where, but we were just hanging out in the city and shit, there was, like, this little shit that, like, would come around once in a great while, and we would, like, all ride the shit. Just kind of, you know, hang out or whatever. Uh, so we were doing that. And then, like, literally one of our guys comes back. Actually, no, it was our leader, uh, Jadian. Or no, it was our leader, Jadian, who unfortunately passed away, like, a few years ago due to a car accident and whatnot, which definitely sucked. Because, like, I had known, we had all known her since, like, fucking 2008. So, like, we were all, like, really close with each other. And whatnot. Like, we all knew each other in real life and everything. And, like, she came back and she went to go do something. And she, like, right across the stream. Because, like, you remember how, like, back then you had, like, all the different stream stuff. Where, like, you can get, like, the newest updates on news on, like, gaming and shit. Mm -hmm. Well, she had that on her computer. And she was like, holy shit. And we're all just like, what? What's going on? She was like, did you guys hear what happened in a while? I'm like, what? I was like, no, what's going on? And she was like, dude, somebody fucking glitched out wow and killed a whole bunch of people in there. And I'm like, what are you talking about? She's like, yeah, there was some sort of like virus or infection in there. I'm like, oh shit. Damn, so you were playing Jade Dynasty. Mm -hmm. And the... Yeah, wow. news word about that shit got around. And the tainted plasma incident happened? Wow, and y'all were talking about it? Damn. Yeah, like, they had, I guess it had, like, just happened, and I'm like, oh, shit. Like, that's fucking brutal. Yeah. I remember the, the like, I remember dying from that. <laughs> Thankfully, I wasn't on there, so I didn't have to worry about that. Thank God. Mm. Yeah, it took a while for them to fix that. Yeah, I heard that it took a while. I'm just glad that I don't have to worry about that. Or didn't have to worry about that. Thank God. Because if I had to deal with that, it would have been sucky. Mm, I know, just dying over and over again. Yeah, I, I did hear, though, that like a lot of people lost some shit from that. Oh, they lost all their shit, too? That's that's just what I heard. I don't know if that's true or not. I don't know if, like, people actually lost their stuff or, like, what happened. I don't know. Because I know there were some people that were losing stuff, and I don't know if that was the cause of it or if it was just, like, other shit. I don't know. Uh-huh. But, dude, I don't know anybody to this day that doesn't know about that shit. Like, Sorry. that was... That was some nasty shit. I'm not gonna lie. That was some gnarly stuff. Like, I know anyone who doesn't know about that tainted plasma incident. Jesus, it's like I mean, what? That was like what? a pandemic in World of Warcraft. Yeah, that literally was. That was literally equal to COVID nineteen in World of Warcraft, essentially. Mm-hmm. Like that was some nasty shit. That was some real nasty shit. I, I used to watch Asmongold uh, play 
of World of Warcraft, and he would like go out of bounds a lot and try to find the the out of bounds places. Which is really yeah, cool. I don't know anybody that hasn't done that in any game. To be honest with you, hell, even I did that shit with Jay Dynasty all the fucking time. Oh, what would you do? I oh, yeah, played I would, that game so. I would like try to find like you know, hey, where can I go out of bounds? Like, where can I get these spawn points? To th- like, how can I get the spawn points to throw me out of bounds so that I can explore outside the map and see what else is out there? Because there was shit out there. We just didn't know how to get to it. <laughs> it's like, okay, how do you get out of bounds? How do you do this? How do you do that? Like, it was a pain in the ass. After about six months of trying, I was like, fuck it. <laughs> it's like, I'm done trying. It ain't gonna fucking work. Like, I'm sorry, but if I'm going to do a game, I'm going to do it right. I'm not going to take no fucking shortcuts. Like, if I can do, if I can make a way to do it faster, but legally and properly, then yeah, I'm going to do it. But I'm not going to sit there and try to cheat the game either. I'm like, oh, I'm going to throw a glitch in here and make you do this. No, like, I'm going to find the quickest, easiest way that I can do it and make it happen. Mm-hmm. What was your first console? My first console was Super Nintendo. And then a couple years later, I got an N64. Hmm. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, so for me, it was like, I grew up on the classic classics, like freaking Jurassic Park, Super Mario World, fucking all that shit. You know, I don't know why these people bother putting a bounty on me, because they know I'm just going to fucking escape it. Like, I've had so many people try to put bounties on me, and it's like, go ahead, I'm just going to fucking outrun it and, out, and make it to where y'all can't get my ass, so why even fucking bother? Like, why bother trying to put a bounty on me? I've gotten to where, like, I'm... I've gotten pretty damn good at outrunning griefers and people that try to take my head for bounty. Hmm. Like, I've gotten pretty damn good at that over the years. Griefers? Like, the, they'll... Like, they're, they're like random people that, like, they'll blow people up for no fucking reason. Oh, just people that are, like... Assholes. Yeah, like, they'll run around and, like, kill you for no reason at all. Like, you can be going to a fucking clothing shop on here and picking out a nice pair of clothes. They'll walk in there, shoot the place up, and kill you with it. <laughs> or you'll be taking a car to your garage or whatever, and they'll just randomly blow you up. And it's like, why? They could steal your shit. No, they don't steal my stuff, but like they, you're not. Thank God you're not able to steal other people's cars on here. Well, I mean, you are, but you're not allowed to keep them. Mm. Thank God. Because if I did, I'd be a broke bitch right now. I've had my car stolen so many times on here. Shit. You know what? We're turning this resupply into a fact finding mission. A fat finding mission? <laughs> I got no idea. I think he said fat, but it sounded like he said fat. <laughs> Is he looking for Amberlynn? <laughs> oh, damn. No, I'm pretty sure he's looking for Nicole Arbor. Oh, God. What does she look like? Dude, that chick is... She's got fucking issues. Fucking Rod trying to fucking sue every other fucking celebrity for... A fake ass career that she ain't even got. Like what the fuck? Ah, all because she don't want to fucking work. She's one of those chicks that's like, oh, I have a career. No, you don't. Oh, I have a career because I said I say I do. Yeah, she's one of those chicks. Like if you look at my shit. I actually do have a career. I've actually done shit. And my stuff shows that. Hell, the artists that she claims are, like, bad people have careers. 
Hell, just alone, Ryan Upchurch has spent almost over half a million dollars going to court with the bitch. Really? Mm. Remind me, what did... What happened between those two? She... Like, he wouldn't sleep with her, so he's trying... She's trying to be like, oh, he didn't miss. Uh, no, he didn't, bitch. Oh. Yeah, she... Yeah, she's one of those ones. It was pretty bad. I, I feel for the guy. I'm like, dude, that sucks. Dude, I remember freaking Earthworm Jim from back in the day. I know, that shows my age, don't it? Oh, yeah. Fucking Earthworm Jim. Oh, you fucking prick. All right, so you want to try to steal my whip, huh, motherfucker? Okay. Get away from my shit, big nail. Come here, come here, bitch. Come here, bitch. Oh, what? Oh, you motherfucker. This guy's trying to make it to where... Okay, asshole. I hate these guys. These are the ones that really hate when you're trying to do a delivery and they fucking purposely murk you. Was it that the game just like, you know, you've got to get around it somehow? No, it's literally another fucking player trying to knock me. Ah. Uh, you don't have your name in game set to something like Cyrax or anything, do you? Unfortunately, yes. And the motherfucker stole my fucking shit. You fucking ass. Why do I always get stuck with the missions where motherfuckers try to kill me every five seconds? Why? You're a dick. Ah, uh, never mind. He's going to. You guys are not following me, are you? Thank God, oh shit, yes they are. Son of a bitch. Okay. Oh, I know, they're fighting each other, okay. That's good, they're fighting each other and not me, thank God. Is that shit? No, that shit's literally annoying when you're trying to do a mission. And you have these people that follow you to your spot. Like, they don't kill you, but they'll follow you there, and then they'll kill you. <laughs> it's like, fuck you, dude. Does this happen in every single one of your missions? Not every single mission. Just like only when the griefers get on and decide they want to be a little fucking smart asses. That's right, if these guys want to try to follow me, I can just bump traffic and knock cars into their way. And then that'll slow them down at least a little bit. Because then they'll have to dodge moving cars coming at them. They'll have to dodge spinning cars that are out of control coming at them. So it's like, yeah, have fun with that. It's like, well, my truck's built like a tank. Your truck's built like a fucking Hyundai. You ain't going very far. And then, I like the days, and like, I found like there are certain times of the day that you can jump on and nobody's on, and that's usually when I get my shit done, when no one's on. So I ain't got to worry about getting smoked. You would think these guys would learn that a guy with an AR-15 that knows how to shoot is a very dangerous guy. Well, that just pissed him off. Wait, do I have to steal the truck or do I just steal the stuff out of the truck? Oh, no. Okay, so I'm stealing the truck. Cool. And I am fucking timed on this, so I ain't got time to diddle around with you fucking asshole bad guys. So I'm just gonna fucking gun it and be like, fuck you. There, have a car. <laughs> You're welcome. Free car. 
Might have a few dents in it. Dude, I remember when Jack said the guy was flying uh, uh, Spider Man 1 or 2. I forget which one it was. I think it was uh, The Amazing Spider Man. And he's like, Here, have a door. No, no, who's there? It's me. Your guns telling you should telling you you should go out to college. Well, fuck you. <laughs> I fucking love Jack's always got some of the funniest lines, I swear to god. Yeah, he does. Like, I fucking love Jack. Hell, Jack's one of the Jack said the guy's one of the biggest reasons why I started doing YouTube in the first place, because seeing him, I'm like, oh great. So now you fucking got a child from me, okay. Good luck smoking. Good luck hitting when you. Good luck shooting when you can't hit, dummies. Dude, these guys are literally just ping. Why are they bothering? Their bullets are just pinging off the back of my truck. Like, why are you even trying? I'm just literally cruising here at like 60 miles an hour, and they're just like. Oh, we're gonna shoot you from our helicopters. Yeah, okay, sure. Have fun running out of ammunition while I'm just driving like normal. You know, for bad guys, they're not very bright. <laughs> for for gun running bad guys, these guys are not very bright. I mean, they are in the gun running business, so you'd think they'd be smart. Really, you're gonna try to shoot me through a fucking tunnel? Are you a dumbass? These guys literally just tried to shoot at me through a fucking tunnel like an idiot. Like, their bullets are gonna go through a fucking tunnel. God, talk about retarded. You know, I've noticed that in a lot of games nowadays, the AI is so fucking retarded. Oh, yeah. Especially in Skyrim. Oh, God. In Skyrim, they're the worst. Good God. Yeah, don't kill the chicken. Hell, and if you're playing Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, don't piss off the chickens, because they will fucking come after your ass. I know you remember those days of just pissing off the chickens for no reason, and they just start coming after you. Oh, yeah. But in Skyrim, the, the, if, you, if you kick the chicken, the chicken would, like, murder you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> What? What is it now, Mother? It was as big as the mountain and black as night. It flew right over the barrel. <laughs> Don't! Dragons now, is it? Please, come here. If you keep on like this, everyone in town will think you're crazy. And I've got better things to do than listen to more of your... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Somebody, help! It was a dragon. It'll kill us all and then you can leave. You think you can take me? <laughs> I strongly advise you not to do that. Good 
no, 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 I, I, I would not do that, I would not do that. Morning. Nice day for fishing, ain't it? <laughs> no, I mean, I've done that enough times and that was shit. No, really? You've kicked chickens in Skyrim? Oh, dude, I've kicked them. I've fucking shot an arrows at them. I've done all kinds of shit. <laughs> they just all, the chickens all gang up on you, right? Yeah, and I'm just like, oh, fuck. It's like great. I'm getting attacked by the chicken mafia. <laughs> I could just imagine think... you running out of town and there's like five chickens chasing you. <laughs> it's like, dude, what did the chickens do to you? Uh, what didn't they do? They're trying to fucking kill me. It's like, what'd you do? I just swung my sword at them. <laughs> <laughs> 